everyone, I'm Craig and it's time to take a look at another product. And today, I will be taking a look at the Anchor Curve Bluetooth earbuds. In the interest of full disclosure, these were purchased using my own money and my views are mine and mine alone. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Since I started this channel, I've reviewed a few pair of headsets and headphones but all have been rather large and on the higher end of the price scale. And not everyone needs or can afford a hundred dollar and over pair of headphones. And that's okay. Far too often I see people uh, riding their bikes or at the gym wearing giant headphones and to me it just looks odd and hot and uncomfortable. Also, I don't want to get my big headphones sweaty. So it's nice to have a small quality and most important economical pair of earbuds to use for certain tasks. And this is where the Anchor Curve earbuds come into play. Coming in at a price of $25.99 US for the black version and $3 more for the colored versions on Amazon.com or $36.99 Canadian for all the versions at Amazon.ca, these should not break the bank. As always, let's start the review with build quality. I have stated this before, that Anchor is as close to Apple quality without the Apple price tag. And here it feels no different. The body of the earbuds is made of a sturdy lightweight plastic that I have no doubt will stand up to wear and tear of both everyday use as well as heavy gym goers uh, life. The rubber cable that connects the two buds is long enough to be comfortable but not excessively long that it would become annoying during use which is fantastic. Located on the cable leading to the right earbud is the small control box that gives audio controls like volume up and down as well as play and pause and skip track forwards and backwards. There is also a mic located on the control box so a call can be answered by the push of the button without having to pull out your device. Also on the control box is the micro USB charging port right here. They also sport what Anchor calls a nano coating that gives some water resistance but by no means are they waterproof. They should hold up the splashes and sweat without too much trouble, but if you get these things in the pool, you're going to buy a new pair of earbuds. If you have purchased earbuds before, sometimes comfort and fit can be a struggle. Apple AirPods to say the least, as everyone's ear holes are different. So it's nice to see that Anchor packs in a bunch of extra silicone tips, memory foam tips, and after a little bit of trial and error, you should be able to find the sweet spot. Another piece of addition, or another nice addition, is one that actually I look for in a pair of earbuds, and that's the hook, which nests behind the ear to give an even more secure fit, especially during more intense activities. Now this is where a lot of people would say, great, these earbuds are gonna be secure, they're gonna fit, and I'm not gonna have to do anything else. But Anchor takes it another step further by adding in removable ear wings uh, that nestle into the ear little canals here, giving even more of a hold. In short, if you're looking for a pair of buds that absolutely must fit and won't fall out, then these are what you are looking for. Now all these features are nice to have, but if the buds sound like garbage, then ultimately, what's the point? I'm not a fan of the in-ear headphones both from a comfort and sound perspective. But I understand the need when working out or for other activities, uh, things like that. I simply can't wear my helmet when biking or rollerblading if I want to wear my big over ear headphones. I just does something that doesn't fit. So it's the only acceptable solution as accidents do happen and smashing my head just doesn't get better with age. All that being said, the sound of the curves are very nice. The vocals are understandable along with the instruments rather than just being a jumbled mash of noise that are usually accompanied from the, the cheaper earbuds that you can find out there. I was also rather impressed with the amount of bass that was present from these small little drivers. Typically these things will lack the bass. Uh, Anchor also says that these get between uh, 14 to 12.5 hours battery, depending on usage. 12.5 uh, for music, 14 for talk. 
And in real world testing, that was what I was found to be true. Uh, nice to see that the accuracy of this, uh, they also claim that with just 10 minutes of charging, gives you a one hour of playback. Uh, that does depend on the wall adapter that you are using as one is not included with the buds. Okay, a small carry pouch is included. So that is nice little addition. So you can keep all your little bits and bobs that come with it in there along with the little micro USB charging cable. So it all stays in one place. As for the verdict of these buds, I can't find much of anything wrong with them. The price is nice, the build quality is great, and the sound is good. For the bu bu budget price, sorry, I don't think you can go wrong. And as an aside, I did compare these to both my Samsung earbuds that came with my Galaxy S8 that were tuned by AKG and a pair of MPOW earbuds that I have that are both wired. And, and these did stand up admirably to both of those sets. Um, so they're great. So that's it for this review and I'll catch you guys in the next one.